guys and welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here hello i'm keaton so today's video is going to be another work day in the life so you guys really really enjoyed my last one i just felt like it was something that you guys made me wanted to see just kind of like more on things i do for social media for twin flames just for everything and so i definitely just thought it'd be really interesting for you guys to see and you guys felt the same way so i really like that you guys like that video so i'm here to do another one for you i just made myself some coffee I actually woke up at 6 30 this morning because my time is off um, like from Texas so in Texas it's two hours ahead I'm back in Arizona so I woke up at like 6 30 um, Arizona time which would have been 8 30 Texas time today is my first day back in Arizona since I have been in Texas and so I really just have like a lot of things I want to like get all my like life in order basically so this morning i actually do have a meeting for twin flames with nat so me and nat have a meeting at 10 a.m we're going to go meet with our screen printer and our shipping um we're gonna go meet with them talk to them about like some things we want to do for the next job how the first job went um i really really love having our screen printer and our shipping here local in arizona because if anything like goes wrong and if like, I don't know, just if anything happens with any of the shipping, we can drive over and see it. If there are shipping issues or manufacturing issues or anything like that, all of all of that is out of our control but what we can control is being able to like drive to the facility and try and fix it so that is really good for us um so we have a meeting at 10 a.m and i really wanted to film today i have a bunch of videos i've been brainstorming i sat on my flight yesterday and like looked up a bunch of different things that i could do and then i asked you guys on instagram and i'm just like taking everything that you guys said you wanted to see and implementing it so you guys asked me for style videos more makeup videos you guys asked me for a lot of styling videos Videos, which I thought was interesting because I used to do style videos all the time and they didn't get as much like feedback I guess like engagement so I kind of stopped doing that but you guys have been like please do like basic styling or like anything like that so I'm very excited because I will definitely be doing some styling videos here soon so basically today is going to be one of those days where um, we have a twin flames meeting in the morning and then I'm going to try plan out all of my content for the week figure out what days i can film what um but yeah that's basically it look how cute my desk setup is i brought my coffee in here got my little cute teacup my beautiful little candle i'm all set up i've got this on its little stand that i got off amazon my laptop i always have it sitting here this is my newest thing i've just put here it's this calendar which i need to fill out i've put a few things on here but i need to fill this out a little bit more i don't have my office chair yet so I'm sitting in this chair. This is my dining chair. Also, I have clothes that still like literally need to be unpacked. But this is a chair I've been using. It's from my dining room. But I'm gonna do a little bit of work in here. I have a video that I really want to go up, but I forgot to edit a few clips out of it. So I am going to edit those out now. It shouldn't take me very long. It's 7.45. I wanna take a shower before I go to my meeting. Guys, I am so obsessed with my iPad. Okay, so I have, oh wait, I have this page over here. So on the plane, this is what I was writing. I know my handwriting's not the best, but I just got this Apple pin um, and I'm actually in love with it. It's the greatest thing ever. Um, and I just wrote down all of these video ideas. I took these all from what you guys sent in on Instagram and then I wrote them all down. So I'm gonna do my Kindle Kylie collection, I'm gonna do my morning and my night routine. Um, I have another makeup tutorial coming and then a lot of you guys asked for an unedited get ready with me, not sure why, but um, we're gonna do that. And then I have this model off duty look that I've been saving for like a few weeks and it's so good. I've got some cook with me's, I've got so many things on here. So basically what I do is I write down all of the ideas. Oh, oh my God, let's like not. Okay, I write down all of my ideas and then, so one of them I really wanna try TikTok makeup trends. So I wrote down which trends that I wanna do from TikTok. And then on top of that, I will choose the days that I wanna do it. So I can do two videos a day, just kind of like knowing how I work um, and how many hours that'll take. I know I can do two videos a day. So I actually did this unboxing yesterday. 
So today's Tuesday, so I already knocked that one off. Today I think I'm gonna film the Kendall and Kylie collection video. And then tomorrow, which is Wednesday, I definitely wanna try and do a TikTok trend plus a morning routine. So that's kind of how my day works. Like I will come up with ideas, I will take inspiration, and then once I have it all like, okay, I wanna do these types of videos this week, whatever that is, then I will lay them all out to what fits in best. So today, because I have a meeting in the morning and I have all this other stuff, I didn't want to film my morning routine today, so that's why I'm doing my work day of my life today because this is the day that I'm really going to be doing a lot of like work stuff. Um, so that's why I'm filming this today as opposed to filming another video today, if that makes sense. It's all about time management skills, people. Like literally, I just take all these videos and I fit them in where I can. So today I will be filming the review of the Kindle and Kylie collection, which I'm very excited to try. I'm very excited to like do my makeup and fix myself up today a little bit. Um, and then depending on how I'm feeling after that makeup look, I might be able to film some TikToks because I don't like to just do my makeup and then like not film anything else. I don't just like do it and then wipe it off. I'll try and film as much as I can with the makeup on because I really don't like to do my makeup every day. Doing my makeup every day is my pet peeve. I cannot believe I used to do that constantly. Like literally I would wake up for classes in college and I would do a full beat face. For what? I literally don't know. So um, yeah, if I have makeup on, then you will definitely catch me doing 47 inch scrim photos. Oh, that might be what I can do. I do have some Instagram photos and yeah, I have some Instagram photos and IG stories for Savage X Fenty that I want to do. I'm really excited to try the pieces on, so I feel like I'm gonna write that down. I guess I'll explain more. So if you're an ambassador for a brand, it basically means that you are like working with that brand exclusively for a certain amount of time. It could be like years, it could be months, it could be one month, like it just depends. But basically if you're an ambassador, um, I basically do monthly deals with um, Savage X Fendi, which I really, really love. And so I'm able to offer you guys um, different things because of that. And I get to show you guys the new pieces that they bring each month. So I did June pieces obviously last month and now I have July pieces. I love the July pieces so much. They're these really like gorgeous mesh bras. So I feel like I could definitely do some content in those today, but that's basically what I'm doing. I'm writing on my little iPad, I swear guys iPads have changed my life and I'm using my little Apple pen and the app that I use is called good notes And it's amazing. Um, as I'm writing all of that down. I have the makeup video that is going up this morning um, Exporting so I just finished editing that it only took me like literally five minutes I just had to take out two clips, but um, yeah, that's exporting and then it will go up and then we're good Wow guys, I feel like a new woman, you know that feeling when you take a shower you just exfoliate and shave and then you put sweatpants on and it's literally like the smoothest feeling ever that's how i feel okay anyway so it is currently 8 50 i'm probably gonna have to leave here at like 9 45 the place we're going is so close um to meet for twin flames so in the meantime, what I'm going to do, because my video just uploaded, I'm gonna take some time this morning to clean up and unpack everything. I have got all of these clothes in here, just needing to be hung up in here. I've also got a suitcase. All of this needs to go somewhere. I really wanna start picking the outfits for my like model off-duty video, but a lot of the clothes that I wanna put in that video are in these suitcases, so I'm gonna spend literally like the next 40 minutes or so unpacking hanging everything up unpacking toiletries unpacking makeup and all that kind of stuff so so i'm changed i'm wearing this plain black top over here and some sweatpants and i am just going to straighten my hair really quick the only reason is because i just like i don't know i just feel like i look a little bit more presentable if i don't have these creases on my hair also guys literally the straightener is the best straightener I have ever used in my life. Like, when I tell you it is so bomb, it really is. Also, I just want you guys to understand, I got my hair done like a week ago and I feel like, not really a week ago, but like two weeks ago now, or a week and a half, okay, whatever. And literally, I have rootage. I don't understand 
how my hair grows at the rate that it does also i have to get used to that because of my blonde hair and stuff um and having it not like i used to get my hair dyed blonde and i would just do a root shadow which means that like i leave some of my roots and then i go blonde just so that when it grows out it doesn't look crazy but when you do like platinum blonde hair like this you're going to get roots i honestly don't mind the root look that much but I don't know I think it's just something I'm gonna have to get used to again because I used to like not have to worry about it and now it's something that I am gonna have to worry about you guys are just gonna have to live with my root life over here I wish I had time to do this hair in layers like straighten it in layers because then it would be like so much better like do i have time to do that oh my god what is that meme from nicole tv she's like it go like dupe but i want it to go dupe <laughs> what is it oh this shit keep going like whoop like no go do that's literally how i feel right now trying to put these pieces right now it's been really difficult because we placed an order um like mid-june for uh, our next drop to be designed or to be made and in the process of being made and we just got an email last week saying that all production and manufacturing and designing, sewing, everything is being put on hold because um, they want to send the workers home to double test on COVID. No one is showing symptoms and stuff and we're just having so many delays with shipping and so many delays with literally everything and it's making it so much harder. But um, hopefully everything will resume um, quick and we'll be able to release those drops. It just sucks because like literally in the month of July, we were supposed to have two different drops and we will probably not, not probably, we will not be having a drop in July um, because of everything going on right now. And you know what? It's fine. I would rather have everyone safe and healthy um, than have our stuff made but it is just like one of those things that i'm like dang it we really thought like we ordered everything we were like this is so exciting let's we have a photographer we have like a vibe we have everything done um or we had everything planned for this next drop and then yeah so <laughs> okay hello everyone welcome back i say welcome back the last clip was in my apartment but <laughs> me and nat again. natalie is here um we just went and met with our screen printer and talked about a bunch of different things i'm filming a work day of my life so i'm literally telling them like what you do like every single thing of okay. like what we right. do so like yeah there's just like so many small <laughs> things you know i want it's you like, to be in it and talk about it too because i feel like i always talk on the vlog but i need you to like i know i saw your video me. the other day and i'm like people probably think that i don't even i'm not a part of it <laughs> no literally because i just vlog all the time but half of it is like i'm texting you we're <laughs> yeah. like but you're not in the vlog so anyway okay now, i'm here i swear <laughs> um so what am I saying? We met, our screen printer. we met our screen printer and when we have so many orders and when we're obviously not manufacturing the stuff on our own, we have damages or we have things that go wrong in manufacturing. There were, how many, how many things did we have From like wrong. damages wise that like have like little holes in them or just have like a stain on them or something on like a hoodie or a sweatpant, like that stuff happens. I'm not going to probably six right six which seven. is yeah which is not bad at all like we there had numbers hundreds and hundreds of orders yeah we got really lucky and to only have six of them have different damages is really really nice but it's also weird because it's like you look at all these other like huge brands and they have like a whole team of people that right. are like customer service social media marketing damage control and like we're just like that meanwhile i'm trying to figure out how emails don't get sent to my personal <laughs> literally guys we have had the twin flames email what we thought was our twin flames email like people were getting their shipping confirmations from not brought at i'm like, sorry if you got that like <laughs> because our email wasn't set up like i just feel like i need to include all these things in the vlog because so you like, get it. <laughs> you get it. Okay, my camera stopped. Anyway, I need you guys to understand that it's literally just me and Nat. And that's, 
it's just me and Nat. <laughs> I think we're doing pretty well. And so everything that goes on, like I feel like normal people have like damage control and you hire someone to like look through all the items or you have just like someone who like runs customer service or someone who does graphic design, like graphic design, that's us. <laughs> Uh, customer service is us, social media is us, um, designs are us, like literally everything is just me and Nat. Coding so is us. Coding is us, Nat is literally over here. We love our distancing, look at you, you're so- I'm a coder now, guys. She's over here like yeah. coding the website. <laughs> That's a great time over here. Literally took us so long to try and figure out how to even put, like what were like, we trying to put on the site? Nat literally has to figure out how to code everything <laughs> because if I attempt to code a single thing on our website, it looks like, I, <laughs> I don't even like know. Like it's fine, but it's not like. It's not fine. It's pristine. literally hideous and Nat has to figure everything out with coding on the website. You have to figure out most of the stuff with the website because every time I get on to our website and try to do something and change it, yeah, that's fine. I'll like delete a tab and I'm like, Okay, shop now. Nah, no. I'm like, nah, I deleted the shop now. Can you get it back? I'm like, it's a difficult time over here. We have our own tasks. So anyway, aside from that, um, what are we doing today, Nat? What are we talking about? I am finally setting up the rest of the email and figuring out the rest of the email because we set up a 365 email and it has not been able to configure well with our site. So I have to go in and learn these TXT records and CNAME records to continually <laughs> set it up. And then Keith and I are gonna talk about drops. <laughs> Lots of drops. And for some reason our emails have been like, because we switched over our email, we changed from, you know, not drawn at iCloud to info at Twitter Flames. Um, it, it like the emails that people are sending to the old one are like not they're just like disappearing right. like they're just not even rerouting to our new one so we're trying to like figure that I out. hope they'll be there once this all gets I think it'll be fine yeah. we're also um, filing for a, a what a loan a from loan. the SEBA the small business association small business association so that we are able to get some money I know you guys think we're dressed <laughs> <laughs> We're just half a money tree over we here. Have so growing. much money. <laughs> but we don't, and we're going to get a loan, and that's that. Yes. We're also working on getting our actual twinflames.com domain mm -hmm. in by Bro, someone else. You know what I saw the other day? I'm going to see over here. Our man. So, yeah, come back here. <laughs> so when we first got our Instagram, someone had Twin Flames. And we had to DM this man. He lives in a... Where does he live? Like... I don't know where he lives, but the screenshots came up on my memory I'm that dead. I was sending you. And I'm not joking. They are the funniest. I have to he show you guys a few. He had no idea what you're talking about. His username was just Twin Flames, and he had it posted since like 2012. And we were like, hi, sir. We really need this Instagram username, like <laughs> actually right now. Can you give that over to us? And he was like, what? Like, please read something. Like he didn't he get it. Okay. He wasn't understanding what we were trying mm -hmm. to say at all. He would say... Uh, we're like, hi, can we please, like, we'll buy this username from you, or like, what do you want? Um, we just really need this for our <laughs> business. And he was like, I'm sorry, I misunderstood. Like, so he started liking all of my things and following me, and I'm like, no, that's not what we mean. Like, <laughs> nah, we just personal. like, will you just change the user, your username, so we can take that? And he goes, I'm sorry, I misunderstood. Um, I'm curious, what exactly does Twin Flames mean to you? So then I had to write what Twin Flames meant to me. <laughs> like why we wanted it. he'd understand it. And, he, and then he answered again, you know what, it's hard to say no to a beautiful girl, lol. How do I give you my handle? Just close my Instagram? Can you help me get some fans through your Instagram? He like wanted clout and then he also wanted, like he didn't know, he thought he was supposed to delete and his then, account. Here's the kicker. He posted this photo and he said, Hi everyone, I will be discontinuing using Twin Flames as my handle and just using blank so you guys don't have to follow. So please start following my new handle. Thanks. Like, bro, <laughs> it made no sense. And literally on Instagram, if you just change the handle, it doesn't mean you have to follow no. new people. You just change the handle. Anyway, <laughs> that was a whole other situation. When we found the name and we wanted it, we literally had to like 
ask this man, good thing Nat's so beautiful and he just gave it, he just gave it to you. Like, good thing you're just beautiful and he loves stop, you. And just stop, handed it over. Stop. So graciously. <laughs> I will um, close my Instagram. Literally, he was actually so funny. Love that man. Mm -hmm. Gotta, we stand him. Um, so anyway, we're in the process of buying a different domain right now and that's that. And then everything else that we need to talk about, I guess, today is um, what items we have lined up, like what products we want, when we want them, but working around when our manufacturing opens back up. As of now, they've only been closed for a week. Hopefully they won't be closed all of July. Yeah. I would really hope, like even if it's like the last two weeks of July, if they open back up, that would really help us with launching in August. So we're really just gonna talk about colors we want, pricing we want, how we gonna get some money. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> if we get the money, do we get this loan? Um, yeah, that's basically everything that's going on today. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of some more insight on our life, what we do over <laughs> here. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Which equals 32.8 plus the vector imaging, um, which I'm only gonna make it be 80 cents because realistically, so that's the total per crew neck to make. Okay. Um, and then if we did times that, it would be that. So I'd say that should be our price point or that. Yeah. Or total and on that. top of that. And we didn't even plug in tagging. Folding, I was gonna say we have and bagging. Our last screen printing, it'll most likely be double because we have a lot more units for right. this round. I feel like that's gonna help. This would be my ideal just to also cover in case there are like damaged ones or just issues. I get if you wanna do I this price with point, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, you know, I know what you're saying. Hoodie but at the more. same time, this design is a lot more intricate than the last one. Like so much. And like it cost way more for this design. Yeah. It doesn't sound like a big difference, but when you add it up, mm. it's a lot. On top of that, we haven't even added in photo shoot, which we have to pay the photographer, potentially doing a studio. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I know. All right, everyone, it's currently one o'clock now. So we had our meeting at 10 and then we met for like two hours and just talked about, obviously you guys know everything we talked about, what we're gonna do in the future, colors, items, prices, units, everything um, like that. So talked about all of that and then now that it's one o'clock, I'm ready to film. Wow, guys, I'm a serious catfish. Going from that last clip to this is just not real. Okay, anyway, um, I just finished filming. Actually, let's see what time it is. I think that took me like an hour and a half. Yeah, it's like 2.45 right now. So that took me quite a while to film and I've got a mess over here, really need to clean up. But um, now that that is done, I'm basically gonna just clean this all up and then I'm gonna get right to editing. I really wanna have all of these things edited and done. Um, in the meantime, maybe I'll film like a TikTok or something. Maybe, maybe I'll do a TikTok right now with this makeup on. I don't know, but basically uh, the second after I film, I'm gonna take all this footage that I just filmed. I'm gonna import it all onto my laptop, make sure it's all secured, and then I'll get started on, that was the loudest slam I've ever heard in my life. I'll get started on some other work that I need to do. So yeah. Wow, today has been such a busy day. It's currently four o'clock now and I literally have been taking the last hour. I'm taking my Invisalign out. I'm sorry, this is gross. Maybe I'll cut this out. <laughs> anyway, I've just taken like literally the last hour to import um, footage um, from what I filmed today. So I've got two videos importing right now. It's taken a long time because my laptop ran out of storage as always and then I had to move stuff over, whatever, it's not the point. Anyway, because I got back from Texas yesterday, I haven't had time to go um, grocery shopping. So I had to uh, Postmates food because I just haven't, I was gonna go to Whole Foods, but like I literally haven't had time today. I have been getting so much done though, so it's making me really happy, but I did uh, Postmates. Um, 
Chop Shop, which is a local restaurant. And look how good this is. It's a rice bowl, and then it's got Korean steak, avocado, mushroom, broccoli, cauliflower. It's super, super yummy. Um, I asked for no onions, but I see some onions in there. Anyway, um, yeah, the rest of the day, I'm just gonna eat this because I need nutrition. If you guys have noticed, I literally haven't eaten today except for um, I had some coffee and then I actually got like a little sandwich from Starbucks this morning. But other than that, I haven't eaten. So it's four o'clock and I'm basically gonna spend the rest of the day importing footage um, and then editing that footage. I believe I'm going to do a few Instagram stories. So I made a list right here. I love using my iPad, guys. It's the greatest thing ever. But on GoodNotes, which is what I have, there's a bunch of templates. So there's like a to-do template. Um, there's just like a bunch of stuff that you can add onto this. So I wrote down all the things that I needed to do just for today. And then it has like a little checkbox. So as of today, video wise not even twin flame wise good thing uh me and nat talked about all the twin flame stuff this morning um but just video wise i have an unboxing haul to edit i have makeup video to edit the one i filmed today i also have this work day in my life video to edit which is what i'm filming right now and then i have some savage x fenty um footage or videos that i'm gonna do um because i really 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 want to try the pieces on today so that is all the other things i still have left to do today and keep in mind it literally takes me around two hours to edit one um video and i have three to edit so that is just that is just gonna take me a long long time on top of that i've got to make some thumbnails and stuff but while all the stuff is importing i was like keaton this is your prime time to take a break and eat some food um but yeah i'm just trying to like really knock some stuff out i just felt super motivated because when i asked you guys on instagram what you guys wanted to see you guys gave me so many great ideas and i just was like really excited about it so yeah all right so one of the last things i do um and what i like to always do just like ahead of time for the video is um edit the thumbnail so i'm going to show you guys how i edit my thumbnail i always get questions on this like if you are struggling to start a youtube you don't know where to go whatever i've been using this it's literally since the day i started youtube this website is called pick monkey basically what i do is i click collage and i don't know if you guys can tell on the screen but there are three squares here and what I will do is at the bottom, I'll rotate it to where the two squares are at the top. And then there's a little X um, over here. And I will delete the bottom square. So you guys can see now there's just two long squares. In case anyone is wondering, um, at the bottom right here, there is a little lock button and there's dimensions. So if I unlock it, that means I'm unlocking the dimensions so that I can change them. Oh, Brandon is calling me. All right, so anyway, at the bottom there is dimensions. And in case anyone was wondering, um, I can change the dimensions here at the bottom and I can make them to what the uh, thumbnail dimensions are, which is 1280. By 720 so now we've got two squares perfect squares and they're long and this is the size of a thumbnail so then I will just go on here um, and I will choose from my photos here they are and these are the two photos I took today all I do is click and drag them so you guys can see these are the photos I chose to use um, for the makeup tutorial I did today. Something else I like to do is I like to change the spacing. So I always put it on seven so that the line is really thin. And if it's a photo like this where it's like exact, sometimes I will flip it so that them like the thumbnails like that, like they're going opposite ways. But I don't really know if I like that like vibe for this photo. I think you guys can't really see, but I don't really think I like that vibe very much. I kind of like them. Um, going the same way i think that's fun so then i'll go up here and i click send to editor so i'll export this to editor and then all i do is like literally i click Arial black font i'm so basic and i will write on here whatever the title of the video is so this one is um and i like to center it and i also like to um keep this font black and then let's see what else do i do what else do i do okay i don't know i'm gonna keep it right there so i always like to center it and then over here all i do is i click one of these little like squares as you guys can see this little black square right here and all i do is i change it to white 
so we're gonna make this white and then I literally make it like the length of the word and then I will just send it backwards and then there you go so I will do this for all the words on this little um, thumbnail so that you can clearly see them if you're scrolling on YouTube this is if I leave it plain just like this it's too hard to see so anyway I'm just gonna take some time over here to make these thumbnails for all the videos I did today Look how beautiful the sunset is, guys. It's all pink and orange, it looks so nice. As you guys can see, I just made a nice cup of tea and it is currently 7.45. So uh, my day has been really long today and I woke up at like 6.30 and I am sitting on my couch finally at 7.45. I washed all of my makeup off, I did a little bit of skincare and I'm feeling really good. Um, I will probably stay up editing until like 11. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish all of the videos that I wanted to have edited today, but I'll be able to start them at least, which is really good because that'll cut off a lot of time um, of editing tomorrow. And then I will most likely just sit on my iPad um, and plan what I wanna film tomorrow. So whatever I didn't get done today, I'm gonna make top priority tomorrow morning so that's just kind of how my days go um I don't know it's just it's very weird um having a social media job being like YouTube and a clothing brand and all this stuff having a job where you are creative I feel like it's not even just with social media it's you know with clothing or with whatever it is if you're like a graphic designer or like anything like that anything that makes you create and think um, it's just your mind does not stop thinking about work and you're just thinking of so many ideas and so many things you can do and how you can execute it and that's just really what I always am doing like no matter what I'm just always thinking of oh well how could I change this design on this or oh I really want to edit this video this way it's like I'm always taking inspiration from things and my brain really doesn't ever stop and I also want to just like take the time in this video because I I don't know I just want to make it really clear in this video that I am like so beyond grateful and blessed and I am just I'm just like beyond grateful that this is my job and that I have a secure foundation of a job right now because a lot of people are struggling they are there are so many people unemployed especially my age I think about people who I graduated college with like in May who were looking to find jobs and can't find jobs right now because of everything going on and I am so blessed to have the job that I have and I don't ever want to come off as if I'm not grateful and I don't feel blessed I literally like think about it every day when I'm doing content and I'm like how is this like how did you even end up here like how is this what your job is and it's just a blessing and I'm really thankful for you guys and I don't want you guys to think like yes I'm saying like yeah I wake up at 6 30 in the morning and I don't go to bed until 11 and I don't want you guys to be like oh my god she's complaining people have it so much harder I freaking know I am not at all comparing what I'm doing to freaking healthcare workers right now I'm not comparing it to anything um, to anyone I am just sharing what I do as a living and I also want to make it very 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 understood I'm very grateful and I know that it is a blessing to have the job that I have right now and I wouldn't be able to have it if it weren't for you guys support and I'm just so thankful that this is what I get to do every single day um, and I love it I love it so much so I just want to make that really clear but yeah it is like 7 45 right now I'm gonna sit here wait for my tea to cool off I've got my little blanket I've got my barefoot dreams blanket right here and I'm just gonna like snuggle up um, and edit a video I'll probably just edit one tonight and then I'll watch a little bit of Netflix and go to sleep and that's how my that's how my day is going so I really really appreciate you guys watching this video if you guys liked it don't forget to uh, English don't forget to give it a big thumbs up um, you guys specifically requested another one of these so I'm assuming that you guys are liking them so if you guys want another or you guys want me to keep doing them let me know in the comments down below but thank you guys again so so much and I will see you guys next time bye